Hey everybody, I am back today with another card reveal, and this one is going to be from SGC. Unfortunately, it is not going to be a surprise for me because when we got this back in the mail last week, uh, my boys wanted to open it right away and did not want me to do a video at the time. So I kind of gave in and opened them up and we did take a look at them and I'm going to go through those here in just a sec. But um, trying to get some cards put away here in the gigantic cabinet I've got here with stacks and boxes of cards that I've been collecting over the years. Well, really, since I started getting back into this in 15. So, um, but I do have a, a good stack of graded cards here. And I wanted to put these SGCs back in this little uh, briefcase here. So I figured why not just go ahead and do a quick video just to show you what we got in uh, our last SGC uh, submission. And it, actually this submission was sent out in um, or done at a card show we went to here in Atlanta. It was pretty amazing. It was the Culture Collision show. You've probably seen videos about it. Um, missed it the last few years, but really wanted to get out there this year. So we were able to get out there on the last day. And I'll tell you what, that, that show was, I know it's been growing, but man, that was a lot of fun. And kids had a blast. And I'll definitely be going back to that next year. But I want to give a shout out to SGC because uh, they were there uh, doing grading and uh, I knew they were going to be there so I brought some cards that I thought would be good in uh, SGC holders and they got these things back to us within a week from the time that I submitted them probably less than a week I had the box this box while well, it was inside a cardboard box but back from SGC in less than a week which I thought was pretty amazing so Anyway, without further ado, I'll just go through these real quick just to kind of show you um, what we got from this actual uh, uh, submission. And I'm fortunately trying to pull this here while I do uh, open this. But hold on one second. We will get this going for you. And uh, we'll kind of run through them real quick and just kind of show you what we got. But the first card up is a let's see 1959 tops um baseball thrills this was a series i guess that was i think part of the 59 set i'm not 100 percent sure on that uh, it does have a regular number on the back like it was part of the set but anyway this is a really cool one the uh that immortalizes the maze catch that everybody knows about. Um, this one got a 3.5, uh, very good plus. I thought it was definitely worth grading. I think, I don't know what the value of this thing goes, but any of the maze cards from back in that that time frame are certainly gonna uh, bring some, some value to you. So I figured why not go ahead and get this one graded and in three and a half, I'm not going to complain about that. I think that was a pretty good grade for, for that particular card. So that's the first one. Um, second one, I think, was also in that series. Yes, it was. This one got an even better grade. Um, this was uh, Stan Musial wraps out 3,000th hit. Um, also from the 1959 uh, Baseball Thrills. Uh, as well. So that's a, that's a really nice card. I think this one warranted it because of the corners were quite a bit better than the one that I had with Mays a second ago. Um, so certainly getting a four, uh, really, uh, really, I think a good grade. I think that's a VG excellent um, grade. So not going to complain with any 50s, 50 type cards and a four, um, at least something like that. So that, that was a nice one too. Um, moving on down the line, I'm just going to kind of share with you some of the other ones. This is another vintage, um, a uh, football card from, looks like 1969 tops of Merlin Olsen. Uh, I only know him from all of the announcing days, so, but I'm not really sure how he was as a player, but I just thought this was a really cool card. And I knew when I've, I had this for a while, 
and I saw how crisp the corners and everything were and the actual um, uh, surface looked really good. So I'm like, you know what? I don't know if it's going to give a lot of value on that car, but I really wanted to have it graded just because of the shape that it was in. And I was definitely rewarded with a, uh, a nice grade on that one. So that came in as a uh, SGC7, which they call that, I guess, an NM or near mint. So really happy with that one. It's just, it's just a really eye-catching card. And you can see, even on those pink corners or whatever you want to call that color, not a whole lot of wear at all. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, that's uh, number three. Number four is a really nice one. This was, a, uh, a again, another one of these cards that I've had in my collection for a while. And um, I knew this was a pretty high-grade card. I, I, I didn't want to go out on a limb and say I could get a 10 on it. But I saw with the centering, with the way the corners were, um, the surface looked great that it was going to grade high. It really surprised me to uh, to get a 9. I was thinking, you know, maybe an 8, but 9, I'll take that all day long. So that came in as a 9 mint, Ozzie Smith. Um, not his rookie or anything, but shoot, at a 1981, uh, before the junk wax era, getting a 9 on something like that from a Hall of Famer, I will definitely uh, take that one. So that was kind of a nice one. Um, moving on down the line, the next one we have is a little bit of a disappointment, but I'm kind of glad I got it in a uh, in a holder. And I just think these SGC holders, the tux they call it, with that black and, and a card like this here from the uh, 1962 top set, um, and under, I guess it's their, uh, might have been an insert portion of that set uh, from the Sporting News. This one, uh, Hank Aaron, came back as a one. And I knew the surface had quite a bit of issues and the, and the edges are almost rounded. So I was not expecting to get a very high grade. I was hoping I could pull a little bit better than a one. But, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, And it's a Hank Aaron, so I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it would have been a little bit nicer to have something, maybe maybe a one and a half or, or two. But with the other grades on these other cards, certainly not a bad deal. And having that in a, in a, um, in a holder, I think, is a good thing, too. So anyway, that's the uh, first Sporting News one. I think I have a second one in here, too. Um, yes, actually, I got three. The second one is another Hall of Famer. One of the best ever. The uh, Willie Mays 62 uh, Sporting News from that uh, top set in a four. So, you know, yes, I got the um, uh, Hank Aaron in a one, but turned around and pulled the uh, Willie Mays in a four. So certainly, certainly happy about that one. Um, and that one obviously pops a lot better than... You see that you saw that uh, Hank Aaron just a second ago. So a four on that card, super solid. Have really no idea what that value is on that one, but certainly something I'll keep in the PC for a little bit anyway. Um, and finally, the third one on that uh, sporting news is Orlando Sapita, and that one came in as a SGC three. So almost as good as the uh, as the maze, but um, I'm not sure exactly what the difference was. Probably a little bit on the corners and whatnot. But but again, when you've got these players from back then, uh, I believe he's Hall of Fame as well. Um, certainly getting threes and, and fours on stuff like this is pretty cool. So that is my third from the uh, sporting news. And then I think the rest of them are going to be... I got some basketball. Uh, actually, all basketball. So the last four are basketball. Uh, first one, another vintage. Dr. J, Julius Irving. 1979-80 uh, tops in a SGC7. So certainly uh, a nice grade for a card like that. 
Um, I knew that one as well, uh, super clean, so I figured why not get that thing in a holder. Uh, seven was probably about what I put that thing at and just kind of glancing over it. I know uh, centering is a little bit off top to bottom, and um, I'm not sure left to right, but certainly uh, a, a cool car to have in, in a holder like that. That's a great photo, too. So that is uh, number one. Uh, first one of the f last uh, ba the basketball ones here. Next one is a Pistol P. Maravich from what is a seventy eight seventy nine tops, and uh, that one came in as a seven as well. In fact, that one I thought might even do better, uh, but then I realized um, why I think this ended up as a seven. This particular one was uh was a card i won in a break a long time back and the real issue i think on this card i'll kind of see if i can share it with you is on the top here i don't know how well this is going to show up but in the very top you can kind of see it there on that very top edge it's a little tiny bit of a ding or a gouge but otherwise this card is like <sighs> Super clean. I mean, there's really nothing that is an issue. Look at those corners. I mean, the corners are just pretty stinking amazing on this card. Um, and even that one there. Let me see if I can get it zoomed in. I'm not sure if that's going to work as well as I want it to. But, but anyway, these corners are just solid. That little ding, I can't say for sure. But my gut is saying that that was... Uh, dinged by the person doing the break when they went to put it into a uh, penny sleeve. That's the only thing I can think of that would have made that. It looks like it might have been a fingernail or something that hit it. Because if that's not there, that card is probably... That could be one of those nines. You know, like a like that Ozzy a second ago that you saw. Um, so that one I, I knew was probably not going to get that nine gray but boy i'll tell you what if that little nick that looks like it was fresh like it wasn't done back in the day i think it was done when when that break took place but i'm gonna save that one for the last one second to last we've got a uh from the 1718 donner's optic we've got donovan mitchell and uh this is under rookie kings a um base uh so it's not a uh, prism or anything came in as a uh, 9.5 so that one is a i think it's a, they call that a mint plus 9.5 i know um i think his cards have been going up quite a bit my son was like get the, we should get that one in a holder so brought that one with us and uh that didn't disappoint at a 9.5 but the best one as far as grading's concerned is uh this one here uh, Jason Tatum. This is a. Uh, it's not. It's his base, I believe. Um, that one came out as a ten, uh, also from the same optic set under uh, Rookie Kings. So we've got that one in a ten. And, and while I've got this still running here, I believe we've got that card. The reason why we did that is because we have another one of his. I don't know if I'll be able to find it quickly enough. But we have another, that same card in a uh, PSA, I believe it is. PS, oh, here it is. PSA Gem Mint 10. So we've got the um, base card in a uh, Gem Mint 10 from SGC. But we have the purple in that card as a gem mint 10 with uh with uh psa so two of those uh we can heck we might as well go for the rainbow at this point um i don't know how that will play out with people that collect him when you've got one from sgc and the other one here from psa but i'm not complaining when i got tens on both of them so i uh, thought that was pretty cool i think the only stage higher than that for sgc would be your pristine and I think that's when they do a uh, 
gold around that top part there. I think it's in gold where you see the SGC on the very top of that that uh, border. So that way you know, I think, and then it'll probably have uh, a P or something like that next to it, instead, the 10 instead of the GM. So, but anyway, that is uh, that is our box of uh, SGC. Like I said, we opened it up about a week or a week and a half ago or so and uh, was pretty happy with it. And I'll tell you what, I mean, I've been a uh, PSA guy for quite a while and everybody says, you know, go PSA because of a registry and everything. But I'm, I'm becoming more and more impressed with um, SGC and what they have to offer as well. So I will probably be using them a bit more. I've always used them in the past for like, example, uh, these here, these uh, pre-wars, these T206s, um, you know, so stuff like that, they've always looked great and I thought, but I mean, I'm looking at the way these, the black looks with a lot of these other cards and I'm just really kind of happy with that as well. So, but you can see I've always done them for those older, car well, a lot of the older cards anyway. Um, but I might start using them for some of the newer stuff more than, than just this little batch that I had submitted. So that's all I got. And, uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you like, give us a like and, uh, subscribe and we'll be coming back out to you very soon. Take care.